Hi, I'm Jeff Gamet for the Mac Observer, and I am at AltConf, which is running parallel to Worldwide Developer Conference in San Jose, and I'm with Dennis Jadinov from Riedel, and, uh, and Dennis, thank you for joining me. Sure, my pleasure. It's, it's great to, to have a few minutes just to, to sit down and chat, and based on the announcements that Apple was making on Monday during yep. their keynote, yep. some of the product announcements, well, I kept thinking of you. And, uh, and so does everybody else. Well, <laughs> you know, that's a good thing. So the the thing is, when they when they were talking about about uh, some of the scanning things that, that they're doing and and markup things, and then and then the the drag files. and drop and files yep. and, and all of that, I was looking at this, and 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 of course I, I was thinking of you because of the products you make. Mm -hmm. And that's why I wanted to chase you down and pin you down for a few minutes because you have uh, a special perspective on these types of features because this is something you're already doing. Yep. So I, I'd love to get your take. Yeah, so first of all, thank you for having me here. Uh, and uh, me personally, I'm super excited to, to see all the announcements and all the news and uh, not just like cool AR stuff, not just great new MacBooks, much more powerful mm -hmm. MacBooks, but actually this stuff that is right up our alley that we've been doing for almost 10 years. I mean, this year, uh, Riddle turns 10, and we were actually on the very first day of the App Store back mm -hmm. in 2008 with our first app, Riddle Docs, which was the essentially the file manager back in the day. Mm -hmm. And now, uh, eight years, like nine years forward of the App Store, Apple releases Files app, right? And then release the Files app, which is our documents app right now, They've released the scanning in notes, which is, I think many of you guys know, the Scanner Pro that we've created back in 2009. Mm -hmm. And we have like millions of users worldwide. And we actually created a whole scanning category with mobile device. And I, I want to believe that we helped to kill the this old hardware scanner. So this <coughs> super, super slow and clunky. And um, first reaction was like, wow, like all our like portfolio is getting not copied, but like similar concepts, um, like in being introduced by Apple. Mm -hmm. And uh, being a smaller developer, I mean, we're not so small anymore. We have 110 people in the team, uh, but it's like it's our core business. And once this giant, like the biggest biggest company in the world, introducing like the all the stuff that you do, you think, oh wow, it's gonna hurt. Oh, what's gonna happen? But then I, um, even some guys on my team who sit right there got really upset. It's like, oh my God, what are we going to do? Mm -hmm. And I've got maybe 50 tweets, uh, two text messages, and five uh, Facebook messages saying, oh my God, guys, are you okay? Like, are you getting share locked? And then, like, the more I thought of it, the more I kind of had to like, kind of dig deeper, I understood that things are pretty cool. Like, it's actually great that Apple has kind of caught up and uh, evolved into this direction of, of productivity uh, on their devices overall. And uh, all the stuff that we saw for iPad uh, with iOS 11 are amazing. And like mm -hmm. they doubled down on kind of making the iPad like, a truly productivity machine, like great productivity machine, great device for productivity. It was this multitasking, drag and drop, um, what else is there? Like, all the files, file right, system. Right, the, the file system, yeah, so I'm markup. Yeah, so I'm super excited about that. And I don't think that the concept that they introduced as native apps, like native kind of extensions, will somehow affect our business in short term, um, even though they overlap. I think this will educate like more people that you now can do stuff on, on, on these devices. You now can actually actually like, get rid of your PC or MacBook when you're traveling mm -hmm. and be super productive. And once you need like kind of better experience or more advanced experience, say with scanning or with PDF editing, annotations, and so on and so on, there is always uh, companies like ours who are the sole purpose of our kind of existence is like being super focused on these uh, products and crafting these amazing user experiences. For Apple, it's just like, you know, another tick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've got scanning, we've, we've got this, we've got markup, we've got drag and drop. But for us, it's, it's like the very the kind of essence of our existence. And uh, I think we proved that we can make great products. And we just like, it means that we will have to innovate faster and uh, create better experiences. 
I, I think uh, competition is good for it's always good for I everyone. It's, we've been doing this for for years. We've launched uh, PDF experts uh, a year before Adobe did, and then it, like uh, PDF experts for iOS was ten dollars, and Adobe launched its, its free version of, of PDF Reader, mm -hmm. and it was free. And I got the same message like, oh guys, you're out of business because there's a free version. No, our sales grew up 30%. Well, I in that case, I totally get why your sales went up because Adobe's PDF Reader for iOS, I thought was a pretty poor product. It Sorry, Adobe, but uh, it's actually getting better. Like these, they, they really, really like it's getting better. So it's decent. Sure, right yeah, but but, back but then, in the beginning, yeah, yeah, for it, sure. it was, in my opinion, a really great selling tool for your products yeah. because. <laughs> People would see it, but then they wanted something that actually worked. Yeah, so it's like, thank you, Adobe. But now, uh, I mean, take Spark, our email client, right? We we know that email is super crowded, and it's like the biggest companies in the world trying to solve email problem. The Google, Microsoft just bought a company, now it's Outlook. The the um, Apple's default mail app, right? And uh, and we're not new to competition. It's great, and uh, I think. Um, it's just now we have more competition, which is always good for the end user, and uh, I think in the end they will have better experience. Uh, I, that's what I'm hoping for. All right, so we're getting close to being out of time. Okay. So I'm going to put you kind of on the spot, and uh, it, what I'm wondering is, have you had a chance to look at iOS 11 enough to tell if there are features that are in there th that you'll be able to take advantage of to to improve on the products you already have? Yeah, so I didn't have much time, but uh, I looked at some of the features, and the one that I love is absolutely drag and drop. Mm -hmm. Drag and drop between files, and especially up to now portfolio, say, scan something with Scanner Pro and drop it, drag and drop it into PDF Expert and then add it there, sign there, and then drag it up into Spark to send it with like send it as an email, right? It does make perfect kind of sense for the whole use case scenario. Mm -hmm. So all our apps uh, will support drag and drop from the very first day of iOS eleven. That's I guess coming September, right? Yeah. That's S that's what I'm S assuming. September, yeah. So drag and drop support for sure. All the multitasking support for sure. We are uh, definitely going to uh, look into this uh, cool um, vision uh, framework and uh, kind of uh, scanning kit for mm -hmm. our Scanner Pro so that we can actually make better results with our camera and we will be able to tell if it's an agreement or if it's a, like a check. So knowing that, it's cool. actually being smart to predict what you're going to do next with, this, with the document. So we want to kind of add more um, intelligence to our products and Apple provides that um, and we're definitely going to take advantage of it. Awesome. That sounds great. Yep. All right. Well, now we really are out of time. Okay. So uh, please share with everyone where they can find you. Yeah, you can find me uh, on Twitter. I'm at Dan Zadanov, which is hard to know, but like um, email is better always. Uh, it's mm -hmm. Dennis, D E N Y S, at uh, Riddle.com. And uh, I'm always happy to, to talk and to help uh, either users or developers because we've been doing this for almost 10 years. And, uh, Thank you for having me. Well, and thank you for taking the time to chat with me. My and pleasure. thanks for listening. I'm Jeff Gamut for the Mac Observer. Bye, guys.